Hello. And welcome back to Fable. So in the last episode of this, from what I can remember, we had a bit of trouble sneaking into the bandit camp. Purely down to the fact that I am just incompetent at that kind of thing these days. <laughs> I remember having trouble with it years ago there. Um, so we managed to sneak in and find our sister. And then we went on a couple of other uh, ones, found the archaeologist, I believe it was, in the whole glade on the way up. That's just a rough summary of what's going on. So. May I be of assistance? There we go. One moment. There we go. Traditional. Add it. Ah, that's better. Well, I say better. I've never played this with keyboard and mouse. I wouldn't know. Not this version. Um, I did play the original. Uh, Fiber one. Lost chapters on PC with two board mass, and that wasn't too bad. Kill the white Balverine in Witchwood. Right so far, graphically, it looks alright. It's not having the same issues that it had before. I'll give it five minutes, sir. Uh... Right. So that's how you do your sneak. Okay. Right. Get on the teleporter. You wumble. It's witch ward. Okay, so we've been to the whole glade. Except uh, that was it, I tried to get in. I decided to try and get in, and that's when we found that we can't get in because we got to kill the white falverin. Trying to remember the controls quickly. He's dead. He's been nibbled on. Here's number two. Yeah, take a smack. A bonk on the head. And you're down. Nice and easy. And here's the third one going straight for civilians. He takes a couple of smacks. And he's dead. Balverines I do like facing on this. Not the easiest, but I do like facing them. They need to get back up. He's killed her, unfortunately. Right. I guess it's safe to let you in now. But hurry up. Oh, there be more of them out there. Remember that being a bit more intense than that, but maybe that's just the old um, Mandela effect taking over. Bloody Balverines. In all my years as chief, I've never seen anything like it. We might have had a chance, but these damn things follow a white Balverine. It comes into our village and kills whoever it wants. I can hear something now. It must be attacking the warehouses at the bottom of that hill. And you are not listening. I don't remember it. 
looking that gruesome. So I'm just putting my magic in the right spot. He's basically just smacking me left and right. That thing's skin is too tough, even for you. We had a great hunter in Knothole Glade once. He died fighting the last white Balverine. That's not good. His wife still lives in one of the houses up at the top of the hill. If anyone knows how to hurt that bloody thing, it'll be her. Mm -hmm. So let's go say hello to her. Oh god, remember the controls, I'm struggling again. House at the top of the hill. No, that's the one that you can buy. Oh. Try to get your combat multiplied even higher. There we go, that's more like it. Be gone, you bugger. Damn thing was just waiting for you. How could it know where we were going? He was here again, wasn't he? I didn't want to hurt him, but this time he's gone too far. What the blazes are you talking about? The white Balverine. It's my husband. Or it was once. He was bitten by the Balverine he killed. And slowly he turned into the creature he hunted for so long. For a while, he could control himself. But anything that was left of my husband is dead now. That's the town horn. It must be attacking again. My husband used silver weapons to hunt the last white Balverine. Please take this. End his pain. Ah, yes, the old silver augment. Getting some, um... Which one was it that way? Some Bloodborne esque stuff there, like with the um, there we go. Where are we? We are using an obsidian great hammer, yeah, yeah, getting some Bloodborne esque style bleeding uh, storyline there, a bit like with Father Gastron. think twice before attacking us again we've got it on the run we can hurt it we can kill it folks say it lives by witchwood lake come back with its pelt and i'll reward you off we go oh god it feels weird jumping from these games again i say I mean, bloody hell, I was playing Skyrim not long ago. And it's a bit weird jumping from Skyrim to this. I can tell you that much. But saying that, it's been weird anyway. Playing Skyrim, I forgot so much about it. Remember locations and such, but bloody hell, the controls, I forgot how janky they could be. Come on, Balfrey. Let's put you out of your misery. God damn it. Ah, these called his friends.
God damn it. Yeah, as you can see, Balverines can be a bit crafty. Fuck, that's that quest up. <clears throat> so let's head back to the whole glade and hand name. Ooh, hello, what have you got? Have you got anything? No, you don't. Okay, onwards. No, get off the thing. Get off, I say. Get off. Alright. But to not hold the lid. Gotta see how you open that demon door as well. I can't remember. I cannot for the life of me remember how you open it. Let's ask and find out. If you can hurt my face with an arrow, I'll crack wide open for you. I think you need a specific bow for that. Or a high archery level. Or both, I can't remember. There we go. Speak to you. Get out of the way. So, you're back. And in one piece. Bella. We heard the howling and feared the worst. But it looks like you triumphed over the beast. A hero of your stature deserves the glory of fighting in the arena. Your nomination should be waiting for you when you return to the guild. Oh, and speaking of the guild, they sent this letter for you from your sister. Let's have a look. I've always known we were special and now I've found proof. The book tells of a bloodline from the days of the Old Kingdom and its connection to a sword powerful enough to rule the world. A bloodline mother belonged to, I am certain. A bloodline you and I belong to as well. Perhaps with your eyes, you will understand it better than I do. I speak, speak through the pages, but they don't speak back. The bloodline. Ah. <sighs> I hope it's good news. In this family, it's never good news. On the full moon. You have reached well-known status. I'm bloody straight. You're not up to use the sexy hero pose expression. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a look. Map. What do you have? Uh, not old blade. I'm sure not old blade's got a tattooist. Check the guild for more quests. Ah, it's this house that you can buy, not the other one. I think this one's 15,000? 9,000? How much do I even have? Ten thousand. I might actually consider it. What can I interest you into? Because I do like. 
have a um, not hold light and hook coast on my favourite areas for a house. down here. Ah, here we are. I think this is the tattooist. Wow. Yeah. Bonzo. Pleased to serve you. Spiral dementia. Seed corpse. How? Already got that one, so it doesn't matter. The eyes of scorn. Border. Dordrum. Even Dord. How you pronounce it? Poison whip. So he hasn't got too much. That's alright. wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. Still love the accents in this game. Let's return to the Heroes Guild. Oh, that was quite quick, actually. Okay, then. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, no good. Accuracy. What do I need? So I can increase health, which would be a good idea. Yeah, we'll do health. Bit more health down there. The arena. And try the master. We're not playing evil, so yeah. Yeah, let's say because my cat's decided to come and join. Right, let's get this out of the way then. Uh, we'll go to not hold blade, that'll be the best way of doing it. We'll go not hold blade and then we'll go down this way. <laughs> Deep will laugh, that's basically our laugh all the time. Oh, I don't think I've got any healing potions, which is not good. Oh, enemies. And traders. See what the traders have got. See, so unfortunately, sometimes trying to you've got to lock on for certain attacks, life flourish. Bonk. Fear the bunk. You. Right, what have we got? Talon legs, sea chaos legs. Hmm, no, no you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. Wow! <laughs> oh, yes! There should be another one around here. Or have I missed him? I think it's just a game. It might just be the highlighting, actually. The way it's highlighted it. I think this is a potion. No, it's an augmentation. Hmm. Right, to the arena. We'll do the arena and then we'll call this episode because the arena's a good 10 minutes. Or can be. So I've got to have a look how dinner's doing.
and all I can see is a pair of ears sticking up over my uh, throat. Before we actually go into the arena, we're going to save. There we go. You come in to spectate or participate? Participate, eh? Well, you've already got one. My apologies. You can go in any time you like. This way, please. Alright, uh, you'll get no gold, but you'll get quite a bit of recognition. Yay. Right, let's Welcome go and kill to the things. Hall of Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history, they want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm. Quite profound, that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This will be easy. Okay, when it's your turn, I'll call your name and you will enter the arena through the door our friend chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins your prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though and your prize for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize, given by Jack of Blades himself, will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there, use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. Right then. Oh, awesome hero I'm pleased to serve Let's you. get some stuff. Hmm. I'm tempted to get some chain or plate. Chain mail shirt. Bright chain mail shirt. It's a bit expensive. I mean, it's markup. It's quite bad. Eight hundred pound. Well, eight hundred gold markup. Jesus. But, saying that, nine grand, 1,800 markup. Yeah, let's focus on, right, Master Cleaver, Master Hatch, Master Mace. Yeah, the things get expensive, but, for the moment. <laughs> oh, I do apologise. We'll just get the uh, potions I need. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. That's amazing. <sighs> So let's just beat these a little bit. Let's eat some food, actually. He's absolutely amazing, that fella. 
Sorry about the lack of introduction. We have a full stadium and I want action. I'm Wrath. I look after everything behind the scenes here. If you need any advice about fighting in the arena, come and talk to me. Now, I can't remember how long you got to wait. Because I don't think you can just talk to I can't let you in. I hope you're going to put up a better fight. <laughs> Apparently, Chameleon's getting slapped about. <laughs> and the Game Master. Play Blackjack. Yeah, we'll have a quick game of um, Blackjack. We'll just play for 30. So why am I on? I am on 16. Yeah, we'll take a hit. There we go, there's a nice win. There we go, that's wasted the time. I have no idea. Uh, Ross, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know... That's a bit glitchy. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man, you look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. So, in we go to beat the crap out of where right. the stands in our you in now. You sure you're ready? Yes. Let me uh, round one. They always tell me this one gives them the biggest uh, buzz. Really, buzz. with the puns. <laughs> yes, so that gives you an idea of what we're facing first. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, I give you Rune Master, famous for the quest of Orchard Farm and defeating ex hero Twin Blade. Like our other brave challengers, this something coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, presented by Jack of Blades himself. And we're on to the first round, an old arena favorite, it's the Wasp Horde! Yay! Simply enough. Three, two, one, go! As you can see, there's a meter above one, my, like halfway up the right go. hand of the screen. What that basically Three, is. <clears throat> As you can probably guess from the clapping hands, it's how much the crowd enjoying what you're doing. Fighting like that earns 100 gold. Yay. The next round will be worth 500 gold. That's a jump. We ain't backing down he just yet. to the arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly Hobbs. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Still with you. Smack you about, and that's you dead. Die. Three, two, one, go. Tight them out. 
try to dodge the lock from hitting off again. Come on. Excuse me. Die. Three, two, one. All right. That's the potion. Oh, it's a big guy. You can dodge. That's the big book of that. I can't remember how much the big prize is for surviving all of them. Bonk you, bonk you. Plenty of bonkage. Oh, hey, stop stealing my kills. Second one down. That's another 500 gold. 600 gold earned so far. And there's another 1,000 up for grabs in the next round. Okay. What's the next one? Is it bandits? Or is it Balverines? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team rounds. Whisper. Two heroes, side by side, fighting together for their very survival. And there's been a last minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend, Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper! So, the two of them together, Balverines. can they defeat the Balverines? God, I've got a few scars now. Three, two, one, go! Hit the wrong person, that is a problem, unfortunately. You can go. Enough fun to fight in the arena. Uh, excuse me. I think I've 
just got, because I can't hear me over the uh, sound, but I think I've literally just got the um, enough good alignment to use thank you. Generally, if you're playing hero mode, you would struggle. You can get through a lot of the game without dying, but this part is where you'll struggle. Especially when they're pulling off stuff like that. Feels like I'm playing Ninja Gaiden all over it. I've just got to quickly pause here. Okay, I am back. Sorry about that. Just have to These quickly two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big hand. The next round is a real favorite this year. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. It's the undead. Oh, yeah. So now the undead's not too bad. I'm using the best weapon for it, so. Silver and melee and a, a crushing weapon. Ow. Did she just bounce a bomb off the back of my head? Ah, big guy. Undead are quite easy to deal Come with, on. it's when Three, they swarm you. Two, one, I think go. we got to fight a troll at some point in this level as well. Right this quest, shall I say. into bones when you killed them on the original. Three, two, one, go! Look, 
Looking good so far. Keep sending Whisper off across the map with that ability. There we go, that's all done. Round four down. I hope that was worth 2,000 gold. I reckon it was. They've earned 3,600 gold. But will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? Yeah, sure, why not? The competition's hiding up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. Oh, this should be fun. Can't remember from there. Five, and here they are. Spared from the headsman's block. Let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang. Oh, joy. Three, two... One, go! I think I just smacked him straight into that. Bandits aren't the worst to deal with. Um, There's far worse out there. Thank you. I'm trying to run away, eh? Two down. Three, two, one, go. This is way three. Let's kill them. I can't remember too much past this car. I think we have to actually go to Litchfield Graveyard. And... There we go. Yeah, I think we have to go to Litchfield Graveyard. And um, try and find. I think it's the sister, uh, the mother. But again, it's been so long since I've done this game. I only remember up to this uh, this part. Three, two. So this is the last round of the bandits. There's the first life lost, and that's what I mean. It's so easy for you, especially if you're not paying attention, to lose a life. 
Just stay here hard, especially if you're playing as a mage. Just dodging a bit more. enemies are probably the hardest to deal with in terms of uh, defending against. There we go. Five down. A cool 3,000 more gold for that. They banked 6,600 gold. And if that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. Yes. We're not backing out. Intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, hogs, balberines, and even undead. Is this one the troll? What's next? What could possibly yeah. pose a threat to our noble combatants? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Because there's two of them, you can get spammed. This is where your um, meat is going to take a beating. But, if you've got a decent weapon, taking a mouse is not too bad. Almost. Out, so the other one won't be a problem. Yeah. And because she's gonna keep distracting it. There we go. This might be looking at about an hour episode. So that's round six easily done. And another 4,000. Wow, a total of 10,600 gold. Enough for a small house. Do they want another 8,000 gold? Uh, of course. I have never backed out of a round on this game, Things that I can remember. very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. Hey, hey. But what stands between our noble heroes and their winning? Rock Trolls, oh god, no, I forgot I was saying. the Rock Trolls, Stanith and Groin. Stanith and Groin. Three, two, That's even worse to be one. facing, to be honest. Go! One second. Half past five. Yeah, I'll finish this recording. Aren't I? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. I will. That will be cut out. Be 
the troll. I don't know what that is, but... This is where the spam comes in hard. Unfortunately, instead of going for that one, she's gone for this one. And, oh, for God's sake. I swear the AI is not as intelligent. Because she keeps getting stuck on me. Yeah, the approval rating's gonna go down massively. Let's have a look actually what that ability is because I cannot remember. Skills, 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 skills. to rely on this because unfortunately with that rock troll smacking the hand on me I can't get close enough remember what I said about getting uh, spammed Now let's deal with you. circle for some reason.
mind just dying by it. So unfortunately you can't run while you've got flourish. There's a weird one to put that on the same button as your flourish. down because that boom is blowing my ears. Ladies and gentlemen, three, two, one, go! Oh no. Alright, I'm going to have to put a cut in and come back, so I will return in a little while. I do apologise about it. I don't remember how you fight this boss. I didn't even remember this boss existed. I think I can't try and hit you in the head. How's it? is a bit awkward. He's done his own. He's almost dead. Try back up. He's done another one. I think he's gonna spawn some more yet. That's all. Right. Now I'll get the numbers back up. Yeah. 
and he's out. Managed to get up a bit, that's good. I've almost killed this one. Bloody night. The arena bank is truly broken. That's another 10,000 gold. This is for a massive total of 28,600 gold. We have two winners. Incredible. So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the Jack hero of, of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. Don't remember his voice in the original. This so. arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy of it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. Oh, yeah. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this. I'm going to put on a good fight, but I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show, and that's what we're going to do. Let's go. <laughs> That assassin's rush, I should have used it a lot more than I did. Slow time would have been out for, I wish I'd got that actually. I don't think I've ever actually killed her in this. But my dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. Lady Grey. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey. The Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. This is not over. New blood spills just like any other. And yours will spill soon. Hmm. Lovely. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. (sighs) 
she was a fine hearer, just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother. Scarlet robe, slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion. Yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Or were they? Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Barriston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. I'm pretty sure, thinking back, his voice was more... Oh, what's the best way to put it? He was more snide and more cocky than he was there. But, there we go. What's going on here? Ah, the bandit. Hey, you. Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. You have reached famous status. Well, that'll be it for this episode. Um, next episode, we'll be looking at meeting up with Teresa. Possibly meeting Lady Grey. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with that part just yet. So, thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you all again soon.